Kamala Harris wasn't taking any of Donald Trump's mess on debate night. After the Republican leader put the blame on the VP for rising crime statistics across the country, Harris went after Trump right where it hurt. The former district attorney called the accusation rich while adding with nearly a laugh, from someone who has been prosecuted for national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable for sexual assault, and his next big court appearance is in November, at his own criminal sentencing. The apprentice alum attempted to fire back claiming Harris called for defunding federal law enforcement, the day after he was arraigned on 34 felony counts. That wasn't the only thing Trump blamed the Democratic leader for. As OK previously reported, he claimed Harris was to blame for his attempted assassination in July, calling her the reason he got shot in the head. This is the one that weaponized, not me, Trump said. She weaponized. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy, I'm a threat. Despite his constant attacks, Harris made the case clear as to why Trump is not the person to represent the American people. In this debate tonight, you're going to hear from the same old tired playbook, a bunch of lies, grievances and name calling, she said at the top of the night. I believe very strongly that the American people want a president who understands the importance of bringing us together, knowing we have so much more important than what separates us, and I pledge to you to be a president for all Americans, Harris continued. If you want to really know the inside track on who the former president is, if he didn't make it clear already, just ask people who have worked with him. When we listen to this kind of rhetoric, when the issues that affect the American people are not being addressed, I think the choice is clear in this election, the left-wing leader explained. Harris continued to hit on sensitive topics for Trump that she knew would tick him off. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom, she pointed out. People don't go to her rallies. People don't leave my rallies, the businessman whined in response.